Hello, all. How are you today? So today I want to share with you how you can increase your SEO. And what I mean by SEO is search engine optimization. So if you have a website and you want to have a larger reach, do you want people to be able to search for you easily on Google? You want your website to rank higher on Google search? I'll be showing you how to do this in this video. So please um, stay with me to the end, all right? And so I'm going to start right now. Door, did I say door? Bell, drumming, yeah. So um, what I will do is I'm going to go to one of my posts um, and I'll show you how I do it. So this is a post on, um, on um wordpress i'm about you know writing this article and as you can see i've already written you know i've already written my text however when you look at this um just to check your search engine optimization um rating you can see that with the ability analysis, it says needs improvement. Um, SEO analysis needs improvement. So before I come to this, I want to show you. Okay, let me save my draft first and foremost, and then I'll show you um, what you need to do first and foremost. Yeah, so you don't jump, you know, and so you do the first things first. So in case you don't have this plugin, um, you need to get this plugin. It's called Yes SEO. Yes. S E O. So let me just wait for this to, to save and I will show you um, the plugin. It's been it's been installed already, so you can go to your um, WordPress plugin and what you need to do is just download it and then you activate it. And once you activate it, then you are good to go. So yeah, this is saved now. So I'll come here and I'll show you how to, you know how to um, download it. So you just have to go to your plugins. That's what you need to do. And then you go to, oh, this is taking a little while. Okay, let's see, let's wait for hit. All right, so you go to your plugin, plugin, where are you? And then you go to add new. This is quite slow. I don't know if it's my network or something, but yeah, it is what it is. So you go to your plugin and then you just add new and then you search for the plugin. This has been installed already. So I'll just show you, you, you search for um, Joyce SEO. And SEO stands for search engine optimization. So this is it. As you can see, it's active already. So what you need to do if you are a first time um, installer, you just have to install it then activate it and then you have it on your plugins. So now that I have it, I'll go back to my posts and I'll show you how I'm going to make it work. Um, so this is my posts. Okay, we just need to wait for this. It's quite slow, sorry. So these are all my posts on my website. As you can see, these are all green. They are all green. It means that um, the rating of my SEO is quite good. It's been rated and it's quite good. So as you can see for this new post, it's all red so i'm going to show you how i'm going to edit it and then i'm going to show you how it's going to turn green so each time you have an article you have something you want to post on your website once you have this used seo it's going to help you you know 
to 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 be able to construct your article in such a way that is going to rank high on Google search. So now this is what I want to show to you now. Now, now. <laughs> yeah, so please stick with me. This is quite slow. Sorry, but what would I do? Yeah, so it says um, they are both red needs improvement, needs improvement. So when you have the Yoast um, SEO, you scroll down your posts. Once you scroll down your posts, right? So it's going to tell you what the problem is. So for this one, the problem I already know for the SEO, let's start with the SEO. There's SEO and there's readability. So I do not have a focus key phrase. So your focus key phrase should always be the heading or the topic of your of your um of your post. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to place that in in the focus. So I'm going to place that here. Yeah. Now it's saying good. <laughs> it's saying, okay, no, not good. Okay. You see, it's improving now, right? So I'm going to do it. And then you are going to, and then it's going to generate the slog for you. As you can see, this is a slog, the law of polarity and mastering your thoughts. So it's generated that for you. So you're going to put the same things here as well. SEO tied to the same topic. And it's green. Always ensure that this is green and not red. And then you're going to put, you know, your meta description. You know, when you go on Google, you see some you know articles and it's going to you're going to see some some like um, a description on each of those articles so this is where you place those descriptions all right so this is where you place the description so yeah i'm just going to say um the law the law of polarity and mastering your thoughts we help you focus on the positive sides of things. Of things, so you can live an abundant life free from negativity so this is quite long i need to shorten it so i'll just remove free from negativity yeah the law of polarity i'm answering your thoughts will help you focus on the positive sides of things so you can live an authentic life so you just put something there that describes your article, right? So when you do that, then you, you need to scroll down. And then you click on this. It's going to show you, you know, it's going to analyze it for you. So I still have some more things to do. I still have to, you know, add some outbound links. This is what I need to do. Outbound links, internal links, you know, um, key phrase density, image uh, um, art attributes. So for every other thing, it's just fine. My key phrase introduction is fine. Key, key phrase length is fine. Key phrase in meta description is fine. Meta description length and every other thing in green is fine. So for the output link, I really don't know why it's saying, um, what did it even say? It says no output link, but there is, there is outbound link. So this is the link I have some, out, this is the outbound link I have. So probably I need to convert it to link, to a link. Mm. This is a link, an outbound link. 
nail a sprung. So let's see if it has changed. It's still showing there's no outbound link. I don't know why. So I'll just remove this block. Hmm. Okay. Um. So I'll just copy this link um, and then remove the block and then we had it. So I think that should solve the problem. So now I'm going to scroll down and click on hat and click on And um, this embed, embed, yeah. And I'll embed, and let's see if it's going to come up now. It's just showing the same things. So what do I do now? I'm just going to remove it again. And I'll click on add paragraph. Let me go and browse all. I'll just I'll just paste the, the text. It's gonna convert to a link itself. Okay. So I'll come back to that. So in order not to waste our time, I'll come back to that because that is a link already. So I don't know why it's showing um, as there's no outbound link where there's an outbound link. So it's saying there's no internal link. So what this means is you need to add, you know, you need to add like what you call related article. For heavy of your article, you need to add related article. So what I would do is I'll say um, related article. And then I will click on link and um, I'll just say seven days. These are some of my articles. Or anything, it could be seven days, six days. Yeah. And I'll add another one to it, like another link. And um, I'll say five reasons. You can have like up to like three articles if you want. Those are internal links. Something like this and add another one.
Yes, so yes, yeah, so these are my internal links. So if you go down, you can see it's saying internal link is now there, it's now green. So it's saying the next thing that is red here is saying the focus key phrase was found one time. That's less than the recommended mini minimum of two times for a for a text of this length. So you just need to add more of your focus, um, your focus key phrase or your key phrase. You need to, so I'm going to add something related to the article, to the topic here. So it says a lot of philosophy are mastering your thoughts. So I could say, um, I would just say, um, the law of, polarity okay i said in this article i'll be adding i'll be talking about law of polarity and mastering your thoughts also i will just um come here and maybe had a sub editing just to ensure that i have my key phrase in this part of the article. So I will just add a sub heading. I'll just say the law of polarity and mastering your thoughts. So I'll just turn this to a sub heading. Let's see, add in and I'll make it like H4 so it's not too big. Yeah. So once I do that, let's go, you, let's go back to SEO. So you can see the SEO is now green. The SEO is now green. So sometimes you may not get everything right. Like this one, I really don't know why it's saying there's no outbound link or there's an outbound link. Then this one, this image, Attributes, attributes or um, has to do rather with you, like the images you're going to use, you need to like be able to, to title them and the titles must relate to your topic. So the title of your images like, yeah, must relate to, to the topic of your article. So that's what this image out attribute means. And the album link that is already done. I don't know why it's not coming up here. So the next thing, which is a major thing right now, is the readability. Yeah, readability. So it says it needs improvement. So yeah, it's saying that I'm using a passive voice and it's saying my subheading distribution. So one section of your text is longer than 300 words and it's not separated by subheading. I need to fix that. And then it says sentence length said 32.6% of the sentences contain more than two, 20 words, which is more than the recommended maximum of 25%. So I need to fix this ones for my SEO to come up on this article. So when I talk, it says about 300 words and it's not separated by by is by any sub edit so i think this one i can really i can tell which one is more than 300 words mm, i think it's either this part of my article or this part of my article that needs to be separated by a sub edit So I would say it's either this or this, I'm really not sure. But for you to be able to fix it, sometimes it tells you which part of the article by clicking on, on this eye icon. So this one doesn't have it. So I need to just figure out which one is longer. But let's talk about the passive voice now. So I need to, it's going to highlight it for me. Once I click on this eye icon, it's going to highlight it for me. So I just need to go in and see passive voice. Um, so saying sometimes I got looking towards a goal and wanted it so badly. The chances of succeeding seemed slim as what I wanted was just available to one person and several people were also aiming for it. 
Okay, so I need this. It says this is passive. I just need to fix this. What I did was uh, was deliberately mastered my thoughts into what I wanted. Mm. So, I just need to fix this. So I'm just thinking of the right words to use. So it, I don't, I so that my so that it can be the voice there can be active. So that seemed a bit difficult. <laughs> so let me just do the other things for now because I really need to think and you know look for how I'm going to rephrase that and it's going to take a long time. So let's uh, go into this one first say it is long what did you say about this it says it's more than 200 words sentence is more than 20 words sorry Okay, sentence more than 20 words. So I think some of my sentences are long. So when you apply the law of polarity to everyday life, you'll be able to live an abundant life, free of fear and, free of fear and, um, free of fear, anxiety, etc. The negative thoughts and, and belief start with your thoughts. And this is why understanding the law of polarity will help you master your thoughts. For example, if you have a bad experience at the beginning of your day and choose to focus on that experience, it's going to be a spoiler for the rest of the day. Okay, so I need to fix one of this. It is essential to understand the law of light and mastering your soul as this can help you transform your life into what you want it to be. It is essential to understand the law of light and mastering your soul as this can help transform your life into what you want it to be. You have the power to change anything you want to change in life. So I think I would break this one here. Yeah. yeah. I'll just say you only. You. Okay, let me say this can be done if only you focus, if only you constantly and deliberately focus on the on those things that you want. Okay, that's been broken. This can be say you have the power to change anything you want in life. This can be done. Or let me say this can be achieved. If only you constantly and deliberately focus on, I need to remove this only, on those things that you want. So that is shorter now. You say the chances of succeeding seem slim as what I wanted was just available to one person. And several people were also aiming for it. I, did, I have I decided not to dwell on those, on this because I understand the power of my thoughts. And I know that what I decide to focus on we eventually manifest. So that one, I, I'm really thinking of how I'm going to break that, but let's go to the next one. I could go on and hold examples of how I could achieve my goals by focusing only on what I want, but I will save that for later. We have the love adverse, which says that whatever you sow, that you will reap. We also have the love motion, the law of gravity, it is say. In this article, what is the law of polarity in um law of polarity on tonyrobbins.com? In the article, sorry, what is the law of polarity on TonyRobbins.com? It mentioned that the law of polarity gives us a powerful tool to change our mindset. So I'll just break this. When you understand there's positive 
to every negative, you can choose to focus on the positive. So, however, if you haven't dug deep enough to identify the identifying limiting belief for your distress, perhaps fear of failure or, or, or a belief that you, won't, you do not deserve happiness, you will continue to attract unsatisfying jobs. Oh. Let's see, I need to break something. When we apply the law of polarity to, to your everyday life, you'll be able to live an abundant life free from limitation, fear, anxiety. The negative thoughts and beliefs start with your thoughts. And this is why understanding love of life will help you master your thoughts. Okay, what else do I need to break here? Hmm. My passive voice has gone up. Mm -mm. It's gone up. So guys, I needed to pause the video because it's going to take a long time for me to be able to amend all this. So I'll show you what I've done. I had to add this subheading, you know, I had to add this subheading. I had to add more subheadings. So I have up to like three subheadings. And um, I had to rephrase some of my statements. I had to break some of my, from my statements that were too long. And so, as you can see, it's now green. The SEO is green, the readability is green. And I will not just post this, video, um, this article rather immediately because I still have work to do, but what is for the sake of this, for the sake of this video, I need to quickly do some quick fix so I can show you what I did. So I've done all these bits, as you can see, this is only red, red pin here and the same passive voice so i'm going to fix this but i cannot fix this for now in this video because it's going to take a long time so I just, i'm just showing you how it works you know when you download this year's seo it's going to tell you you know the readability it's going to tell you what needs improving on it it's going to tell you what you need to do about your seo to also make it you know rank high on google so as you can see for my seo Everything is fine. The outbound link, I don't know why it's still showing red, even if I have an outbound link, I don't know why. And once I had my pictures to hit, I'm going to fix this as well. So everything is just fine and it's perfect. And for readability, readability is also green. So once I'm ready to go, what I'll just do is I will just, you know, check that everything is fine. I'm going to proofread it and then I'm going to publish it. And that's it. And yeah. And then when someone goes on Google and types in the law of polarity, you know, mastering your thoughts and all of that, then my article should be able to be come up. I'm not saying it's going to be the first or the second or the third but at least it's going to outstanding it's going to be outstanding compared to an article that has no seo ranking at all all right i hope, hope this video has been able to add one or two things to your knowledge about search engine optimization and i hope you've learned one or two things which i'm certain you have and if you have actually gained something from this video why not um why not click on the like button kindly like this video comment also and also um subscribe to my youtube channel and also do not forget to share kindly share this video right sharing is caring okay so i'll be bringing you more videos like this on how i've been able to set up my website and the tricks on um, the wordpress um, plugins how you can go about it okay Till I see you some other time. You take care for now.